Breaking news, EB-1 and EB-2 green cards are unavailable. If you're applying for a green card this year through the EB-1 or EB-2 visa, there has been some recent bad news. USCIS, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, and the Department of State have used up all 280,000 green cards that were available for this fiscal year. In addition to the used EB-1 and EB-2, it is now expected that the EB-3 visas will be used by the end of September. If you'd like to learn more about what we cover in this video, go to onlinevisas.com and see if you qualify for a free strategy session to handle your green card needs. With this green card announcement, USCIS, in coordination with the Department of State, is releasing an additional October visa bulletin on how they are revising the procedures for determining visas availability for applicants. Because of this, there will be two bulletins in one month, which hasn't occurred in over five years. Well, how does this affect you? Well, it depends. If your case did not have a visa number allocated to your registration, then the used green card does affect you, and you will be unable to get your case approved or processed until after October 1st. If you were lucky to receive a visa number, your case should be uh, processing right now, and hopefully your approval will be coming shortly. Priority dates. What's a priority date? Well, a priority date is the day either USCIS received your immigrant petition, that would be your EB-1 through 5 petition, or the day that DOL received your labor certification if you're filing under the PERM categories of the EB-2 or EB-3 labor certification type of immigrant or green card category. A priority date is a formal way of the government saying, here's your place in line with all the other green card petitioners. Some people could get unlucky and receive a priority date that falls outside of the available green cards that are issued in a fiscal year. Priority date backlog. Currently, because of USCIS and DOS recent announcement, applicants who are registered for permanent residency through the EB-1 and EB-2 will not have their adjustment of status cases under the Form I-45 processed this fiscal year. Again, that ends the end of September. These individuals will have to wait until after October 1 and the new fiscal year for a new allotment of immigrant visas to be processed. The green card dilemma. In 2022, there have been an unprecedented 80,000 EB-1 visas issued. The previous all-time high was barely 40,000. How about that? Double the amount of EB-1s ever filed or ever approved before. Primary and derivative applicants. What happens if the primary applicant receives an approval, but the derivative applicant is still pending? Well, unfortunately, if the available green cards are issued by USCIS and the derivative applicant is still pending, they will not receive an approval notice for that fiscal year. Again, the fiscal year ends in the end of September 2022. The new fiscal year starts October 2022. So if they were a dependent of a non-immigrant status, like an H-4, uh, an L2 or an E3 and, be and became a green card holder, the dependent is no longer tied to their status in the transition outside of the dependent title, meaning they are no longer in an H4, L2, or E3 status. Instead, they're in an adjustment of status phase. The adjustment of status is a lawful stay, but you are still required to have an EAD, Employment Authorization Document, to work and an AP or Advanced Parole to travel. During this time, your status would change to remain pending until the USCIS approves your case. EB-2 retrogression in India. Retrogression is the term used when a type of visa that was processing has reached its quota and the priority dates to file are moved back or retrogressed. Most retrogression is happening for nationals of India. Because of retrogression, we are seeing a high volume of immigrants who are choosing to consular process their green cards at the Indian consulate instead of waiting to adjust their status. The good news is in October, Green cards will begin processing with the exception of retrogress cases for India. If you want to discuss you or your company's situation, go to online visas and set up a strategy session. If you want to stay up to speed on the ever-changing world of immigration by subscribing to online visas, like, share, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Quora, and Instagram. I'm John Veely, CEO of Online Visas, the intelligent immigration platform where we deliver dreams.